uh, all the information's out there, you know. It's just about going out, finding it, practicing, getting good, and then showing the world what you've got. Welcome. Um, my name is Diane and welcome to Impulse Radio Africa. Thank Could you. we please get a brief introduction about yourself? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm Marty Copping. I am an actor and a voice actor. Yeah. Uh, I've been in a variety of different video games, uh, like Rainbow Six Siege and Call of Duty Vanguard. Yeah. Uh, and then a bunch of film and TV <laughs> stuff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So um, you're known for your roles in uh, Call of Duty, so how do you see the gaming community in Africa evolving and what potential do you see for the African gamers to, you know, get their mark on the global franchise of gaming? Yeah, I mean, I think gaming in general is a wonderful way for people around the world to sort of be introduced to each other um, and meet people from, from, you know, a variety of different countries and uh, it feels to me more like a global community and I think anything that you know brings countries closer together is, is a really wonderful thing yeah. um, and you know having the ability to do everything online we're not you know we're not limited no one's limited by you know the reach that you can have or the, or the audience that you can reach out to yeah Okay, so African gamers that are aspiring to enter the eSports world yeah. um, how can they cultivate their skills into um, getting recognition within the community? I think uh, I can only speak from my own personal experience, but I think it's practice and, you know, get good, make yourself so good that you, you can't be ignored, you know, and I don't think that just goes for people in the African community. I think that's for, for anybody. Um, but I think when people get good enough at, at gaming or at anything, they're impossible to ignore, you know. And I, I think especially in the gaming community, when you see someone who really excels, you're drawn to it, you know, you want to watch them play. Okay. Um, so in regions where, like, video game and voice acting is less understood and recognised, um, perceptions can become kind of warped, yeah. especially when it comes to um, choosing it as a career, right? Um, what, do you, what advice do you have on that? Uh, people, young African children, or anyone in general wanting to take that as a career? Yeah, I would just say, you know, I think growing up, it, for me, was at the start of when video games really took off. And at that time, no parents understood gaming. And you certainly couldn't make a career out of it. Probably the best thing you could do would be like a game tester or something. Um, but nowadays, you know, I know a lot of 17-year-old kids that are making a lot more money than I am from streaming on Twitch and, and from, you know, being professional esports players. But I think, you know, if kids get wise, you know, they get educated, um, they develop their communication skills and they can explain to their parents, you know, and the peop other people uh, in communities not related to gaming why it's a viable way of, of making a living and having a career. Um, and also the benefits of, of communicating with people all around the world. Um, I think that's probably the best way to, you know, help educate people. That's true. That's it's true. the beauty of gaming. It's the beauty of gaming. Yeah. Especially online, you know, like it's open to anybody. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so final question, right? Um, what opportunities do you see for African talents, including game developers, eSport players, voice actors, anyone in the creative industry to enhance their, their scene and their mark in, and also like um, promoting diversity and inclusion? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I th honestly, I think it comes back to what I was saying before about getting really good at what you do um, so that you, you know you can't be ignored um, and I, I really think that that applies to how good you get at gaming or if you're work, working in a, in a development team um, you've, you've got to teach yourself and you know the skills and uh, this is the beauty of the internet now is you don't have to go to college you know I learn half the things I do on YouTube you know I built a, a house on YouTube Wow. Uh, and I think, you know, in terms of like, I, I tried to do game uh, development, I, 
I started building a game. How did uh, that go? I got someone else to finish <laughs> it for me. Um, but you know, I learned the start of it online. Before I knew it, I was doing like really basic programming and um, decided that it wasn't for me. But I'm sure there's a lot of people, especially in Africa and around the world, that would love to, to be a game developer. And uh, all the information's out there, you know? It's just about going out, finding it, practicing, getting good, and then showing the world what you've got. And I think with the internet, the only problem is the, especially in South Africa, the load shedding. Because <laughs> then you you are a bit limited by time. So I don't know the solution for that. I just discovered it and Recently. it seems to be a bit of a problem. But, uh, you know, problem. yeah, big problem. Big but problem. other than that, I think, you know, there are just these amazing avenues now with the internet where you can you can get your work seen and you can learn anything you want to learn online, you know. Well, thank you so much. I Hopefully that's, that's helpful. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> From my side, it is. But thank you so much. Um, you. Do you have, like, any last words, any words of inspiration? I don't know. Anything. I, I'm just really sort of grateful to, to be here. Um, you know, I've never been to South Africa before. Uh, how are you finding it so far, if I may ask? It's amazing. It's it's culturally very different, different. from Australia um, and different. I spend a lot of time in Los Angeles. It's different <laughs> from Los Angeles. But um, the landscape's very similar to Australia. You guys yeah. have got a lot of uh, eucalyptus trees. We call them gum trees. Gum trees. Gum trees, yeah. But, um, it's Yeah, it's amazing. I've, I've had a really great time um, with people. Did, it, did you have like a perception, like a sort of um, expectation or just a preconceived idea before you came into South Africa? And if you did, what has changed? Yeah, I guess uh, the, the friends I had that had spent time in South Africa, it was mainly in Cape Town. So I was expecting to see more beaches. Uh, which haven't been here but you know other than that it's great I do want to see more wildlife um, I've seen peacocks and flamingos which is awesome but I, I do want to see you know see a lot there's a lot, lot of wildlife here I mean, it's I mean that's Africa. yeah yeah but thank you so much no, thank uh, it you. was lovely having you here I hope awesome you have a really here. great day thank you so thank much you.